Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. So before I get into the pre-shuffle messages, uh, before I get to mention, I do have an Aquarian only channel called Aquarian Energy. The link to that will be down below. I post Aquarius more often over there. I do post on here still, but that one's like every other day type shit. So definitely do go subscribe to Aquarian Energy. Um, but in the pre-shuffle, I was getting the, um, getting giving up something. So doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but I was getting like, maybe you're just walking away from a job or maybe you're giving up a habit or just, it felt like something like that, that you're giving up something for, um, for your betterment. So, um, I was also getting going on a new path. So possibly starting something new, getting into some sort of new endeavor. And I was also getting, starting to see results or you will start to see results from something very, very soon. Uh, I don't know why I just got like cosmetic. Maybe somebody's getting cosmetic or this could definitely be some sort of business endeavor or something like that. But I do feel like you are going to see results soon. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below. So first card we have coming out is the magician. I definitely feel like you are wanting to create right now, wanting to bring something into reality here. We do have the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. So this could be a love offer coming in with the Knight of Cups. Could be from a Gemini here. I'm also getting strong Pisces energy with the Knight of Cups. Um, also, I'm feeling with the Three of Cups, this could be a reconciliation of some sort, or you may have met this person um, in a group of people, or you will meet this person uh, maybe at some sort of social event or something like that. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, but I'm feeling like with this Queen of Pentacles as well. Um, I do feel like I'm getting the energy of trying to embody this Queen of Pentacles with the Magician card. Really focus on stability, focusing on making better money decisions. We do have the Moon card here with the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something that maybe you don't know coming. The Moon card is kind of things happening behind the scenes, happening in the dark. There is some sort of money coming in for you, whether it's like payment or some sort of um, business or job offer here. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? The Two of Swords. Definitely feeling maybe you're not sure on what direction to go in a situation. I'm also feeling like you're no longer seeing potential in something or you're questioning the potential in something. Yeah, I'm feeling like... Maybe something's becoming a little too difficult. And I feel like with this Nine of Wands here, you're wanting to protect yourself, uh, protect your energy, and stand your ground on something. But some of you may be moving on <coughs> from a situation or a person. So why is the Magician card here for Aquarius? The Star with the Empress. Wow. Wow. And this is clarifying the magician. This is what you're bringing into your life. There is so much abundance coming in with the star card. Literally, your wishes are going to be coming true. With the Empress card, I do feel like this is connected to some sort of abundance, some sort of creative endeavor, especially paired with the magician, something creative that you've been doing or wanting to get into. That could be kind of why I was getting the message of um, starting to see results because you will start to see results and you will start to see that abundance coming in uh, for some reason they're telling me it's your time i'm just looking at this clock here it's your time um and with the star card this is exactly what you've been hoping for the star card also represents better days coming so it, yes the ace of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck so yeah money's coming in um opportunities coming in for sure also for some of you that do wish to get pregnant i do see that happening for you here with the empress spirit why is the knight of cups energy here the Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to make an offer. It could be a Gemini. Libra energy here as well. Um, I do feel like right now you could just be like kind of protecting yourself, protecting your energy with the Four of Cups. You may kind of be like, mm, I'm not sure if I want this offer. Also, if this is somebody from the past, I definitely feel like you're going to be rejecting this offer. Uh, I feel like your eyes on the prize right now. Whatever this prize is, you're going to get it. Um, and I feel like you're not letting anything get in your way. Why is the Three of Cups energy here? I wanted to flip the nine of pentacles <clears throat> i'm feeling like somebody wants to reconcile with you and i feel like this nine of pentacles this is the energy that you're in or the energy that you're transforming into this nine of pentacles is being independent being confident being stable on your own i feel like this is um the energy that you're in and somebody wants to reconcile maybe somebody needs your help as well it could be a scorpio um, i'm also getting libra here with the judgment card <clears throat> why is the queen of pentacles energy here for aquarius 
The Five of Cups. Okay. So this, yeah, this could be the person that wants to reconcile. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also have Pisces here uh, with the Hanged Man. With the Five of Cups, there's a disappointment here. You could be disappointed in this person or vice versa. I do feel like maybe this person's not expressing this to you as well. With the Moon card, you might not know this is how they feel. Why is the Moon card energy here? The Five of Swords. Okay. So the Five of Swords, this person could be playing mind games with you. And I feel like a part of you knows that. That's why you're standing your ground and you're just kind of <clears throat> like, I'm good over here on my own type of energy. So, yeah, I definitely feel like there's something that this person, there's definitely something this person not telling you with the moon card here. Spirit, okay, the Ten of Swords. They're very hurt about a situation or an ending that you guys had. Maybe more on the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords energy here for Aquarius? Yeah, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Somebody feels very stuck. I feel like someone doesn't know what they want either. Whether this is you or them. I do feel like they want to come to some sort of compromise with you. But somebody definitely feels stuck. And with the Nine of Cups, I feel like they just want to be happy. They definitely wish to communicate with you or um, to reconcile with you. Why is the Ace of Pentacles energy here? The King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I definitely feel... I feel that somebody here is very understanding of your situation. Um, this King of Cups, I feel like this offer could be coming from this person. This definitely could be a boss of some sort, um, you know, something like that. But I feel like there's going to be someone here to help you out. Uh, this could be investor type of situation, but I feel like somebody's here to help you out uh, with making your dreams come true. Or this could literally be someone that you don't even know. Maybe you just watch them or um, read their book or something here. Something's really inspiring you here to make moves. Um, and I definitely see it being very successful for you. So why is the Two of Swords energy here? There's a decision that needs to be made. Why is the Two of Swords here for Aquarius? Okay, it could be regarding this other side. The Queen of Pentacles coming up again. The Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you're just not sure what to do about the situation. Also, I do feel like um, with the High Priestess here, your intuition is telling you something's off. Like there's something in you that feels like you need to protect yourself from this energy. Okay, why is the Six of Swords here? The lovers with the Ten of Cups, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like as well. For some of you, you may be moving on from this situation, but maybe you're not aware of what you're moving towards. This is what you're moving towards. And, maybe, and I definitely feel like you're not aware of this yet. You do have true love coming in for those of you that are interested in manifesting love at this time. But this ending absolutely needed to happen first. We have the Death card here uh, with the Eight of Cups. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I definitely feel you could be very in your head or you were, you were very in your head about things. But it's like now I feel like you're stepping into your power and you're trying to get your shit together and you're trying to save money and um, all of this. So maybe you did have to walk away in order to pursue yourself, really. Why is the Nine of Wands energy here? The Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you may question this decision that you made. Or if you're still in this situation, kind of questioning what to do. I definitely feel with the death card and the eight of cups, it's very clear if this situation is holding you back, advice is to let go of this situation. I do feel like this person watches you very closely. However, with the page of swords, could be watching your social media, you know, things like that. I feel like they still see potential in this connection. Maybe you guys do too, still see potential in this connection. Um, but something is here to where you're just like, mm, I don't know. I feel like I need to protect myself from this. It's like... Maybe just something in your guts like, I need to keep going on my journey. Spare, what is the overall advice for Aquarius? Okay, judgment. Yeah, for those of you that are still in this decision mode, in your head, like, what do I do? What decision do I make? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So it could have to do with the Queen of Pentacles has come out three times. Uh, for some of you, you could have strong earth in your chart towards Virgo Capricorn, and this could be who you're dealing with. But I do feel like a decision needs to be made regarding that. Or what is the overall advice for Aquarius? The King of Cups. 
King of Cups came out twice too. For some of you, you can be done with a water sign. Kids, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, there needs to be a conversation to be had here. The Knight of Swords. This is clear communication, expressing how you feel. I feel like there's a lot of people involved here as well. I don't know. I'm feeling drawn to take all of these cards. If this is a relationship, there could be like a lot of people in your ear. Or you feel like you just want to move forward and be happy. But I feel like there's just a lot going on. Like maybe there's a lot of people involved. Maybe you haven't expressed how you felt. Maybe they haven't expressed how they felt. Like I feel like just you and somebody else are just not on the same page if this is a relationship. And something needs to be decided in this moment whether there is going to be compromise or if it's going to end here with the death card. So I definitely feel the spirits are not telling me what decision for you to make. They're just telling you to make a decision. I feel like that's part of the lesson here. I feel like they don't want it. They don't want me to tell you that. They just want to say this. It's time to make a decision to make a move because spirit wants you to bring wants to bring you exactly what you want. Your dreams, your wishes like this is an amazing combination. And that's the first cards and you're reading this is the strongest energy here spirit wants to bring you new opportunities and abundance but there's something here in your life that is causing stagnancy so i do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys if you would like a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com also for those of you interested in my tarot training the link will be down below and i will see you guys in the next video